JBL Charge 5, not the best speaker in the world, not the worst speaker in the world these days. That's a compliment to JBL. Massive improvement in the logo. We now have an in-your-face, if you have it at an angle, it glows red, JBL logo. This is a fantastic upgrade over previous uh, JBL Charge speakers. Joking aside, for me, it is uh, the best JBL Charge speaker, as you would hope, as you expect. 160 pounds. I described it as the JBL Charge 3 fixed. I've listened to them again, absolutely. Think of the JBL Charge 3, a bit more mono, of course it's a stereo speaker. Add a bit more bottom end, a little bit uh, meat on the bones. You've got the JBL Charge 5. So we know it's the best JBL Charge speaker so far. We know it's the most expensive JBL Charge speaker so far. That's not a shock to anyone, is it? It's 160 pound. But now, let's have a look at speakers that are its actual contemporaries. Speakers around the same size. I'm saying around the same size. It's kind of the same speaker, isn't it? Sony XB33, but here's the kicker. That's 180 pound, 118 pounds this morning on Amazon UK, 160 pounds. That's the problem for the JBL Charge 5. And if that wasn't already bad enough, the other problem is about the same size. The Soundcourt Motion Plus, around 80 pound, uh, even if headline uh, figures say more, you normally get one of those 20% uh, off, 10% off vouchers on Amazon. So we're talking, we're talking two Motion Pluses for the price of one JBL Charge 5, or one and a half Sony XB33s. In terms of what, how similar are they? Well, actually it's just under a kilo for the JBL Charge 5. It's 980 grams. 1,050 grams, just over a kilo for the Soundcore Motion Plus, and 1,100 grams, 1 1.1 kilos for the XB33. So they are about the same uh, in size, and okay, it's slightly bigger, the XB33. It's kind of wider, but they are the contemporaries. They are the speakers um, amongst others, but the, the most, most requested for, JBL Charge 5 against these two speakers. So let's have a little teaser. Look at the frequency response measurements, remember, these are an indicator, they're not going to be absolutely accurate. I don't do this in an anechoic chamber, mainly because I don't have tens of thousand pounds at this stage uh, spare to spend on that sort of thing. JBL Charge 5, as you know, the 80% bass limiting, coming quite mids and highs dominated. But outside of that, reasonably flat for a JBL speaker. is a bit of an upper bass push, but it does extend reasonably deep, and it does extend right out to the 20 kilohertz mark. Motion plus with my custom settings. First thing you'll see does appear to go louder and it does appear at maximum to have a little bit more in the deep bass. So it reasonably flat, 40, 60, 80%. There is a big roll off from 10 kilohertz and up. It doesn't go all the way into the harmonics, but it certainly doesn't go as deep as the JBL Charge 5 at the lower levels. XB33 with my custom settings, flattish, but there are big peaks, there are big dips. But once you're over 80% with the JBL Charge 5, the bass roll off is from a higher point, so I mean at maximum volume, you can see XB33 appears to hold on to more of the bass in terms of the upper and mid bass, although very deep bass may be still JBL Charge 5, but real tracks could be quite different. It does have a bigger roll off from about 15 kilohertz. The JBL Charge 5 does have a rise from 4 kilohertz upwards, peaking around 9 kilohertz, where the XB33 is a bit flat, actually has some dips. So maybe a bit brighter on the Charge 5. Remember, custom, custom. You'll only get one setting. Why do you do custom EQ on one speaker and not on the other? I explained it multiple times. Because I only use uh, cu custom EQ when it can be embedded into the speaker itself. It's not device specific and where it makes a significant difference to the speaker. And I only use one setting, all volumes. Of course, they change all volumes, Rem remember that. If you only have one speaker, you can spend several weeks without losing a life uh, to EQ it for each volume step. But if I'm doing speaker after speaker, unfortunately I, don't, I only have the one life, I can't do that for every speaker. The one thing I do say about JBL is, lots of colors, lots of colors. Black, it's all black, lots of colors, all black. Okay, we got some colors, but JBL, it's a fashion accessory, uh, probably first and foremost. Just, I'm not gonna give you all the specs. You can check my previous videos for that, just to say, I've given you the difference in prices, 160 pounds. 120 pounds, 80 pounds. So two is one. In terms of the battery, we do have a decent battery uh, in the JBL Charge 5, 27 watt hours. That outdoes the Motion Plus with 25 watt hours. 
20 watt hours. So, and, and that's the thing with Sony, gotta watch this. Uh, when I do my, my uh, maximum volume tests uh, on these speakers. In actual fact, if I, play, if I want to play that at maximum volume, I'm getting 30 minutes. No, it's gotta be more than 30 minutes. They say 20 hours. Yeah, gotta remember. Battery management. So they have mm, very naughty battery management. 30 minutes and then it's a gent gentle slope down, down, down. So you can't quite hear it, but by the end of that slope, it's a lot quieter, the maximum volume. So of course, it they can get more battery life out of it. Got a little battery, clever battery management. The headlines uh, would say, six hours maximum battery life. And you say, oh, blimey, that's really, really good because I can only get four hours out of my uh, JBL Charge 5. Yeah, but from the first minute to the last minute, it's playing the same maximum volume. First minute to last minute, very different volumes. And again, I can get seven hours. I don't know if I've got a magic uh, sound called Motion Plus. I can get seven hours. You're telling me almost everybody seems to get around three hours. I can only tell you, I've done the test. I've retested it. I've got two Motion Pluses. I keep getting seven hours on my uh, on my maximum battery test. Headlines, 40 watts, 30 watts, 30 watts. On paper, this this is gonna stomp all over the XP33 and the Motion Plus. Uh, now just to say, you probably would wanna know, yes, they all float and they all are, are IPX7, but this is dustproof on top of the IPX7. It's mono, we've got tweeter, woofer, but we have two tweeters. Two woofers, isn't that really amazing? And that was when we were getting all mono. We didn't even have, all right, it's mono, but now we've got a little a woofer and a tweeter. When they were just had one drive, one driver, the racetrack down that boom, 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 goes so fast. We were still getting four drivers plus two uh, passive radiators. Took, of course, two passive radiators and two woofers, no tweeters on the Sony XP33. So let's get on, let's get straight into it. Gonna go up all the volume steps because it's really important to see how these speakers do at low, medium and maximum volume because the results can be very different if you only play them at one volume. Not getting a real indication of your real world use you know, in multiple scenarios. So around 40%, but that means JBL Charge 5, because they all have different volume steps, matched volumes means 40% Charge 5, 50% on the XB33, 35%. Just 35% on the Motion Plus is 50% on the Motion on the Sony XP33. say is the JBL Charge 5 plays really nice at low volumes. It's well balanced for low volumes. It's the opposite of the JBL Extremely Priced 3 in that you, you get all the dynamics. Uh, it's, it seems balanced for dynamics at low volume. Get a nice dollop of bass, but also get very, very clear sound. So 40%, my first impressions are, plays very nicely at low volumes. Uh, the Motion Plus, well, we really know, you know, we've done many, lots and lots of videos on it. We know it doesn't have deep bass. It's an older speaker. It's all about the dispersion. It has great wide dispersion, but that's because the tweeters are on the side. 
you know, it's not doing something magic. They put tweeters on. It was a well thought out uh, design. Open sound, just lacks a bit of deep bass. So you pay some money, takes a choice. You've got deep bass, clear sound, but mono. You've got a nice open, airy sound with lots of details, but you don't have the deep bass. That's a draw for me. You know, the Sony XB33, I know, oh, it's getting rave reviews on some channels. I mean, I've gone over it and gone over it. I, I just don't get to see it that way. Over, look, this is a reasonable speaker and the quality for this speaker is in the bass. It's not the most defined bass ever, but um, almost like the Denon 250, it has a character of its own, a warm character to it. So it's kind of in your face and, you, and it's obvious and that makes it really, really nice because it's very much part of the music. But having said that, I can't get away from the feeling that this almost has a veil over it. While I do get the vocals, it's clear. There's a lot missing. Uh, there's, there's a lot in the mids. There's a lot of detail missing. Straight ABs with Emotion Plus, with my custom EQ, by the way. Um, I'm hearing so much more going on than I am with the XP33. 60%, but again, different volume steps. So that's 50 5% motion plus 70% volume, already 70% already on the XB33, 60% on the Charge 5. Yeah, you were right this time, you were right this time, take a look around, look what you did last night, what you did last night, never heard a sound. Yeah, I know that you told me one day you'd show, that you were right this time, you were right this time. <laughs> the same story if I actually go in to the detail see what's going on upper bass does go to the Sony XB33 the motion plus and the charge 5 are around the same level but they're only a decibel behind the XB33 when it comes to mid bass mid bass I'm saying 65 to 100 Hertz well that's a tie between the motion plus surprisingly uh, has as much mid bass at matched volumes as the charge 5 and falling away now uh, is the XB33 by a couple of decibels. But in deep bass, you know, for the connoisseur, we like a nice deep bass. I'm saying that, of course, a lot of you actually prefer your upper bass, but hey ho, um, for me, I do like a nice dollop of deep bass. And remember, it takes a lot more than the amp. So it's a brave uh, manufacturer, brand, whatever you want to call it, that actually bothers putting a decent amount of power into the deep bass because it means they're going to lose volume at the other end. At, and a lot of people just want volume. So I do say that's the ice cream for me, the uh, deep bass, and by a long, by a long way, the JBL Charge Five is five decibels up on the XB33. It's seven decibels up on the Motion Plus. So you've got to hand it to, to JBL here. It's against its contemporaries. If we forget the price, oh, that price. If we forget the price, it's doing its job here. It's massively, massively superior in terms of the base weight you will get 
at 60% volume. It, it, it is different at different volume steps. Now, as I said, it's pretty much consistent. Open airy sound, lacks the bass weight and uh, deep bass extension, but you also get that stereo, the stereo shimmer. You get a sound stage, which you will never get out of a mono speaker, um, but you will get more bass. And for me, as I said, it's okay if it's your only speaker, you, you will love the bass, you don't mm, like that. But when you're listening to lots of speakers at the same time, to me, there's a veiled nature to it. Remember, you saw the frequency response charts. 80% is where most of these speakers start limiting the bass. Not all of them, but certainly the JBL Charge 5, that's a hard limit, 80%, and then only mids and highs after that. So 80% is gonna be kind of its sweet spot. So my 80% for the Charge 5 means 85% for the XP33. And still, you know, here's the clue. How loud is it gonna go? We're only at 75% on the Motion Plus. You gotta remember, it's playing down, um, it's playing a lower volume, that means it's gonna hold on to a bit more of the bass because don't forget, you have bass adjustment as you go down the volumes. So, 80%, around 80% volume. When they see me screaming, do I make you nervous? Am I such a burden? You're always so certain, you're right about me. Do I make you nervous? Did I really deserve this? Is that sort my purpose, but you're useless to me? Now your blood stains the points of my crown My demons told me shit to me now Told those voices that I won't back down I saved me Well I've got them all praying now New religions got them on the ground Not a saint but I'll help you get found What they see You cry for help so shamelessly When they see me screaming, do I make you nervous? Am I such a burden? You're always so certain, you're right about me. Do I make you nervous? Did I really deserve this? Is that sort my purpose, but you're useless to me? Do I make you nervous? When they see me screaming, do I make you nervous? Am I such a burden? You're always so certain, you're right about me. Do I make you nervous? Did I really deserve this? Is that sort my purpose, but you're useless to me. Do I make you nervous? So 80% volume for the JBL Charge 5 means you're around 75% on the Motion Plus, around 85% on the Sony XB33. There is a difference between all three speakers and their volume steps. And at these higher volumes where for the JBL Charge 5, it's at its sweet spot. There's no more bass to be had after 80%. The Motion Plus actually has a bit more upper bass. There's not much in it in the mid bass. And the big difference is 65 hertz down where it does fall away on the Motion Plus. Then the Sony can't match the deep bass of the Charge 5. It can't match it in mid, but it does have much more upper bass, whereas the JBL Charge 5 holding on to deeper bass. You also notice a bit more of a drop at the high end on the XB33. So upper bass, most dominant for the Sony XB33, but for mid bass, Sony XB33 already falling away. It's falling behind the Motion Plus, indeed the Charge 5. And in terms of deep bass, 6 dB off of the Charge 5, and the Motion Plus a couple of dB behind the Sony XB33. But a bit more linear on the Motion Plus compared to the dips and peaks of the Sony XB33. And indeed, same thing for the Charge 5. The, the gap is closing, and this is where the Motion Plus starts coming into zone. It was never, it's never for me been a low volume speaker, and I've never said it was. <laughs> in most of my AVs, I do say, yeah, low volumes, it can tend to sound muddy, especially when I'm having one EQ for all um, the volume steps. But in this particular uh, uh, comparison, it has held up well, reasonably well, at lower volumes. But 
Around 70% is where I do most of my listening. For me, this is real world volumes. So when, when we talk about, oh, I prefer that, 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 what volumes do you listen at? Because if it was, if I was only listening at 40%, that's probably gonna be my, my choice. And low volumes is probably never gonna be my choice with the Sound Core Motion Plus. And I have to say, I've not been kind to the XP33, um, maybe because there's been expectations on it, but other than it's a lot cheaper, about 40 quid cheaper, I said I don't like the tone of the vocals, I said I can clearly hear uh, details missing, and to me, it does sound a bit veiled. Not muddy, but a bit veiled. It's, I can't, it just feels like there's been something, a little bit of a towel or something put over it. But I will say it's got a very, very smooth sound, whereas these are gonna be very sharp. For some ears, these are gonna be ear piercing, and you're not gonna like either. I will say you can EQ that uh, ear piercing uh, tone down, however, but this is ultimately a very smooth sounding speaker, almost like the XP43, very, very safe. This is not gonna offend anybody. If you want a safe sound, go for the XP33 and you'll get a nice, nice uh, cuddly warm bass. But it doesn't excel for me in any particular area. But at 80%, I think the gap's very close now. Um, is it a tie? But I, it's gonna be, do you want the bass weight or do you want the open area sound? I'm, I prefer, now am preferring these volumes, uh, the XP33. So, whereas I prefer the Charge 5 low volumes, this is where the, the Motion Plus comes into its own, just to give you what I showed you, the breakdown, didn't I, um, in the charts. So you can see the, how the volume steps are different. And so, if you start playing 80% plus, you might not go to maximum volumes, but you will start pushing these speakers. And that's where the Motion Plus is going to excel because it's going to be at more at, at less distorting levels uh, because it's not being pushed to maximum where the other two are. So. When the XP, and I have to say, the as at these 90% plus, about the same in the volume steps, although that was playing a little bit louder at lower volumes. Now the XP33 and the Charge 5, about the same. So that means if I play XP33 and Charge 5, 96% volume, so it's not quite at its ultimate limit, should have something in hand. We're only at 85%. Um, and if we're gonna see the Motion Plus in its best light, it's gonna be in this test where the others are basically being pushed to the limit. Um, and this is still in, a, in a kind of its sweet spot at 85%, but that is loudest matched in the real world. NPC. Look, man, we're gonna do this one Hate time. And that's it. <laughs> I got them saying that they think I need therapy. But really, I just need a bad bitch to come and cherish me. Take a peek inside my life and I'ma give you clarity. Like the diamonds on the ring when I say marry me. And that's directed towards the love of my life, which hopefully I don't meet at some club some night where every single guy just seems to be her type. Sure. I'm way too smart to know this ain't right. Fairy tales going off in my head at night. Very well that I know that this ain't life. A man can dream as long as he can fight. If you put in the work to reach new heights. I'm here to tell you that you gotta stay positive instead of thinking when you on the stage that you bombing it. Once you do that, then it shows you confident in my own life. I ain't I forever been dominant My mental health really on a decline I've been sitting here daily just losing my mind Toss and turn in my bed until the sun comes shine Will I ever really learn what it takes to be fine? I ask myself what I learned from mistakes That I made in the past if I wanna be great But most times I come to find that my find is a fake My reality distorted from the drugs that I take But wait, wait I ain't do that much But the molly and the liquor and the weed in the Dutch I'm cruising in my head and I'm clenching the clutch As I'm yelling at my demons and I'm telling them shush, shush. I don't even need to say what that mean though Celebrate my pain by a bottle of Clico This for my amiga, shake that ass as the beat go A little bit of weed plus my music a cheat code My mental health really on the decline I've been sitting here daily just losing my mind Toss and turn in my bed until the sun comes shine Will I ever really learn what it takes to be fine? Mental health really on the decline I've been sitting here daily just losing my mind Toss and turn in my bed until the sun comes shine Will I Hate ever it. really learn what it takes to be fine? <laughs> love, love, love. So now the Motion Plus actually matches the mid upper bass of the other two speakers and actually it has a fraction more upper bass than the JBL Charge 5. Uh, we, the, the upper bass rolls off rapidly now on the JBL Charge 5. In fact, the Charge 5 now sounds quite similar to the XP33. 
Um, this is now coming in it to its own uh, and at these really loud volumes, but that may be where you are playing, Matt. For me, XB33 is a winner. It doesn't have the deep bass, but uh, it does it does outkick the XB33. Minus 38 to minus 39 for the XB33 means it has more bass now at all levels, mid, upper, or deep bass than the XB33. But the JBL Charge 5 is for going some upper bass to keep its deep bass. It means it is four decibels up on the Motion Plus now, still uh, at these volumes. Of course, the sound stage is now collapsing uh, as we really push it on the, the Charge 5 and it's losing some of its dynamics. And I have to say, you know, and the vocals are now getting recessed. This is not where the, the JBL Charge 5 wants you to play it. It does not want to be played 95% maximum volume, clearly. It's now losing out. We're only at 85% on the Motion Plus. So these are the volumes. You're gonna just sit there with your, your volume maxed out. You're probably looking like it's gonna be the, the Motion Plus. And just to uh, confirm it, let's go to maximum volume. <laughs> You got the volume all the way to max. How loud does it go? Well, the Motion Plus in custom mode goes the loudest. Goes the loudest by a couple of decibels over the XB33, which in turn is a couple of decibels up on the JBL Charge 5. So, seen it before with like with the Charge 4. Most of the guns of the Charge 5 come in at lower volumes. Maximum volume steps, near maximum volume. You're not getting much more in terms of actual loudness. Bit more of a peak, 99 versus 97 of the Sony XB33 because quite strong in the mids. But the Soundcore Motion Plus, it has the most upper bass, has the most mid bass, and only fractionally behind the JBL Charge 5 at maximum volume for the deep bass. But in terms of total bass, 30 hertz to 200 hertz, two decibels up on the XB33, four decibels up on the Charge 5. It does fall away in terms of loudness of the JBL Charge 5. And it's not like it's holding on to that much deep bass. Can claim to have the strongest 55 hertz peak, 36, three decibels up on the XB33. A decibel up on the Motion Plus. But the Motion Plus is a bit shrill. It's very strong mids, highs. And it does have a big peak because of that 101 decibels. So it falls away rapidly. This plays nice at low volume, low mid volume. But as you start pushing past its sweet spot, 80%, falls away rapidly. Uh, in the end, the Sony XB33 actually plays louder than the JBL Charge 5, the opposite of what was happening at lower volumes. The only thing you can say for the Charge 5 that still holds on to a fraction, a little bit of its deep bass, so it still has the most deep bass, but we've got the volume now. Now, if you are a true audio vial, at the minute you hear a bit of distortion, you're gonna say, that's it, I'm out of here. It's not a deal breaker for me. If you're playing at these volumes, it's because you, you need those volumes. Of course, what happens when you go up the volume steps, Sounds more dynamic to your ear, of course. 
we become uh, more sensitive to uh, frequencies as we go up the volume scale. That's why it sounds more dynamic. So it, if your ears are being rewarded by the volume levels that only of these speakers the Motion Plus can give you, you'll forgive some uh, distortion, especially if you're outdoors, because you need the volume. So ultimately, there is more headroom, or you can come down a couple of notches and cure that, or you can go into the EQ, mess about with that, cure it that way. However, I've left my one EQ, which I say that's what I do for my speakers when I have EQ. Is there distortion? Yes, there is. Uh, is it killing the speaker? No, it's not killing the whole sound on the speaker. Of course, if, you, if I did that 24 hours, 365 days a week, it would kill my drivers, but I'm not doing that. And it's not a deal breaker for me. And of course, why do people like uh, uh, tube amps? They like the distortion. They might not realize it's distortion, but we know that's what they're liking on tube amps. Now, what, how does that break down? Motion Plus even holds on to more bass, but of course it's pushing the mids. It, look, it's, it is a bit shrill. <laughs> you know, it is a bit um, edgy. You can cure that in EQ, but the volume's there. You don't have to go to those volumes, but you've got the ability, whereas you don't have the ability on these two speakers. And you've got to remember, if it doesn't go loud enough for you, I can buy another Motion Plus. It's the same price as the JBL Charge 5, 80 pound, 160 pound. And that has always been the problem for JBL. Are they charging you for the extra paint for the red, yellow, white camouflage, all the other colors they do where Soundcore basically only getting black. It's been amazing. I think they had a red and a blue for the Soundcore Motion Plus. Must have sold so well they had money for a bit extra paint. And yes, you do get nice looking speakers, but as I said, a bit veiled. A lot of people love it. If it was, if that was my only speaker, I wouldn't have a problem. I wouldn't even know what I was missing. But I do have other speakers. And when I personally listen, I am always thinking that sounds a bit veiled. I don't like the tone of the vocals, but I do like what it does in the bass, although it's not completely, although it's not totally accurate. It's not very tight, but it's there. It, it's, it's, it's very pleasing, I would say. So, the takeaway is what we already knew. That's a lot of money for a JBL Charge 5. It's a decent enough speaker at 80 quid. It's 160 pound. If you want to pay for the logo, I did say in my other video, if you want people to know you're paying for a JBL uh, and you've got more money than sense, I don't know. No, you've got a bit of spare cash. You bought into the, the JBL brand and fair enough, but you are paying for the logo. Um, and you've got to remember that. Even a Sony, 120 quid for kind of similar. But however, I would always, I would prefer the JBL Charge 5 over the XP33, that's me personally. It is a really nice listen, low to medium volumes. If I was only listening low to medium volumes, I'd probably say uh, that was worth the money because the dynamics are there at low volumes. I really like the way it does that. Whereas that's open and airy, but the dynamics are not really there. But for me, because of the volumes I'm playing at, and that's 70%, between 70, 90% on these speakers is where I tend to be. Um, I guess the motion plus, but I've got the motion boom now, haven't I? So that's why I don't listen anymore. But if, if it's a straight choice, I think I would still go for the scenario over the mono uh, JBL Charge 5. I've got the headroom ultimately for more volume and I, and I can get some fun details out of it. But it's going to be a matter of taste. There's no right or wrong here. I can't say it's a Sony XB23 or the XB32, where for me, clearly crap. But you're going to enjoy any one of these. I, if either of these was my only speaker, I'd have no problem. I would still be able to enjoy my, my music. But it's never going to go loud enough. Even when I have been listening to these XB33, I'm at 100%. Not quite getting there. And I can get there for my ears. Way I listen, I can get there with the Motion Plus, and again, I'm struggling with the Charge 5. So, low to medium volumes. That's a big plus if you can afford 160 quid. Sony XB3, it's a, it's, a, it's the XB43. It's a safe sound. It's never going to offend you, but for me, not exciting enough, uh, not detailed enough. Um, I'd rather have, I can see the XB43 is not a lot of money extra over the XB33 to me. Night, unless you need this size uh, every day, get the XB43 and still stonking value um, for 80 quid. So I'm going to declare the XB33 this. <laughs> I'm going to declare the Soundcore Motion Plus winner in this particular test. That's uh, just a fun signature. It doesn't, I'm not saying it's the better speaker. I'm saying uh, take all listening scenarios into account. I highly recommend it for the JBL Challenge 5. It's an exciting speaker. It's an in-your-face speaker, but it doesn't like going over 80%. Um, and that's where all its qualities start diminishing to the point where it actually sounds recessed. 
hope you got the thing out. Oh, by the way, yeah, I am going to do a motion boom. I don't know why, but because it's a lot bigger. But you're asking me, you're asking me to compare it to a lot of speakers, to be honest. But uh, um, the most obvious one now that you're asking for against the motion boom, I guess because it's my pound for pound world champion. It's it's the only speaker you need really, uh, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, um, if you don't mind the size and it's about the price, a bigger 80 quid speaker against a small 160 quid speaker. Going to do that. I'm going to th probably throw in the Sony XB43 uh, with that as well. So I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you for watching.